Pixel Kid. You work on the game Eon Alter. Can you tell us what the game is about? Yeah, so uh, Eon Alter is what we call our mobile enhanced co-op RPG. And uh, what, that, what that means is you're sitting on the couch with your friends in front of your TV or in front of your computer, and you're playing together. It's, it's a co-op RPG. And uh, mobile enhanced, what that means to us is normally when you think of playing a, a video game, you're using your Xbox controller, your mouse and keyboard. Instead, for our game, you're using your cell phone or your tablet, your Android device, uh, whatever to, to play. And what this lets us do that's different from other games is we can, we can give your characters secret information. So we can give you um, uh, notes on what's upcoming. Maybe you know something, maybe you know something about uh, an NPC that the other players don't. And you know what? maybe you decide to share it. But you know, maybe the paladin's not being a nice guy right now, and you decide to let him walk into that ambush you saw. I love the aspect of needing to almost role play your characters. What drove the decision to make it almost make it a secret messaging game and a, a vocal role playing game as well as a tactical RPG? So uh, for us, we uh, a bunch of us before we made uh, we started Eon Alter. Uh, we grew up together uh, playing D&D, playing uh, role-playing games and stuff like that. As an adult, it's, it's really hard to get together sometimes and just sit down and play D&D. &D. There's, there's a lot that goes in in terms of preparation. So what we wanted to do was to have that sort of like, you know, pizza and beer, sit around a table, co-op style play together, but not necessarily have to, um, not necessarily have to do all the setup for it. So with uh, Eon Alter, the, the big goal was, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people have smartphones in their pockets these days. And so when you come over, somebody, somebody's already got the computer, you like, you know, you think about the DM and they bought all the books and stuff. So one, one player's got the game on their computer and everybody, and they and everybody else have their cell phones and you all bring out your cell phones and you just sit down and play together. There's, there's very little setup, you just go. It was very mechanically simple to learn, but then the gameplay itself was pretty complex and tactical. Can you talk a little more about that process of designing the gameplay? And yeah, absolutely. So uh, one of the interesting things, and I'm gonna go on a little bit of tangent here, but one, of the, inter one of the interesting things uh, that we started with was we had very little UI on the screen. We wanted it to be big, bold, beautiful, we were like, oh yeah, we have a tablet, we have a screen, and we can put all sorts of information on there. That didn't work at first, uh, because what happens is what I like to call the bounce. You, you look down at your, your screen, you look up, and then you look down again, and you look up, and you look down. It gets fatiguing. So um, the, the way it ended up evolving is that we, we started moving UI elements back to the screen, which has left the handset a little bit simpler again, which is nice. But um, one of the things is that with the, with the controller app, uh, and I notice even your, yourself and a few other people, they see the big circle in the middle and the first thing that always pops to mind is joystick, right? So they start moving it and they can see it move on the screen. So it's, it's not really a joystick, it's more like a mouse cursor, but uh, people can grok that. They, they get it pretty quickly. Um, and uh, it, allow, it allows, like if you're familiar with using a computer, you're, you're usually familiar with using a mouse. So therefore, the, the whole mouse cursor idea, people get pretty quickly. All right. Let's talk a little bit about the nitty gritty. Where is it going to be released? When is it going to be released? How do, how do we get the game? Yeah, all right. So uh, the game right now is on Steam Early Access. You can you can download it today. Hey. Uh, early Access is five bucks uh, for the um, uh, first episode. That's uh, three levels and uh, four hours of content. All right. So you get it for your PC. We're working on an OS X build. I can't promise when. Um, but then you also have your mobile devices. So we are available for iOS and Android. You just, uh, the mobile device apps are free. You just download them onto your cell phone or your tablet. You make sure that you're on the same network as your PC and you can play together. They just see each other and you're off to the races. Right. Is there anything else you'd like people to know about Eon Alter? Um, it's a bit of a grand experiment. We would love to get feedback. Uh, it's it's Seeing people interact with it has been absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it was, was it mentioned that I was the lead programmer? It is now. It is now. I'm the, the lead, lead programmer. I'm on the this lead game. programmer on this game. <laughs> uh, so being able to watch people play it and get the feedback, we're in active development. We can we can take that feedback and do things. So we're we're really excited to see people being really excited about our and game. Here at PAX, you have eighty thousand play testers. We have eighty thousand play testers. <laughs> it's 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 been amazing. People have reacted so awesomely. I'm so glad. It's really awesome. Thank you so much. Thank
Thank you so much.